We've well, got Mr. that. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, please. Say it. Well, we have a great friendship. They're great people. You have a lot of people from Bulgaria that are in this country, live in this country. Uh, they become citizens of the United States. And we're going to be talking about the visa program as per the request of your Prime Minister. But no, they're great people. We have a very good relationship. No, I think what I'm doing is sticking up for our armed forces. And there's never been a president that's going to stick up for them and has, like I have, including the fact that we spent two and a half trillion dollars on rebuilding our armed forces. And some very unfair things were happening. You let Sergeant Bergdahl go. You let others go, including a young gentleman, now a uh, a person who President Obama let go, who stole t tremendous amounts of classified information. And you let that person go. Uh, but Sergeant Bergtoll, we just lost another man who went after, you know, he died last week. He went after from, he was paralyzed from just about the neck down. And he died last week, going after Sergeant Bergdahl, trying to find Sergeant Bergdahl. So when you have a system that allows Sergeant Bergdahl to go, and you probably had five to six people killed, nobody even knows the number, because he left. And he gets a slap on the wrist, if that. And then you have a system where these warriors get put in jail for 25 years. I'm going to stick for our warrior. I will stick up for the warriors. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. The person I'm talking about is Chelsea Manning, by the way, if you had any doubt. So you have Chelsea Manning, who, after, after Chelsea Manning was, I assume, pardoned by President Obama, Chelsea Manning went around and uh, badmouth President Obama on top of everything else. So when you have a Chelsea Manning who stole classified information and did many, many things that were not good and gets pardoned or whatever happened, and you have a Sergeant Bergdahl who gets virtually nothing happens, a slap in the wrist, and then they want to put these warriors in jail for 25 years. One of them, Laurence, served six years in jail, had many years left as a fighter. No, we're not going to do that to our people. Oh, I don't know. Rudy's a great guy. Rudy was Rudy was the and he he covered that himself. You know that. Rudy is Rudy is the best mayor in the history of New York. In my opinion, the strongest mayor, the best mayor. Uh, Rudy is a great uh, crime fighter, corruption fighter, probably the best in 50 years when he was here and also when he was at the U.S. Attorney in Southern District. He was phenomenal. Uh, Rudy's a great person. And I think that maybe the press isn't treating Rudy very well, and I think that's unfair. But Rudy was a great mayor and a great uh, crime fighter. Was he working on your Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Do you come to Bulgaria, and do you know that, uh, what do you think about the Bulgarian position? Well, I might come. I might come. It's a country where we have a lot in common. And we have a prime minister that we like a lot, so that could happen. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, USMCA, I can tell you, it's sitting on Nancy Pelosi's desk. Wait, please. What can I tell you about visa? Please, please, please. USMCA, that's the deal, the trade deal, the great trade deal for the farmers, manufacturers. Uh, workers of all types, including union. Uh, it's sitting on Nancy Pelosi's desk. She's incapable of moving it. It looks like she can't. Everybody knows it's a great deal. She knows it's a great deal. She said it. She keeps saying she wants to get it done, but we're talking about many, many months. Sitting on her desk, no votes. And she doesn't have to help with the Democrats, because they're going to vote for it, most of them. And uh, I guess all of the Republicans are going to vote for it. But the system is, the way the system works, she has to put it up for a vote. And she hasn't wanted to do it because I understand a couple of the unions, AFL, CIO, uh, they are asking her to hold it for a while because maybe you look, you make Trump look bad, although I get a lot of votes out of the AFL, CIO, except for maybe the top, who I actually like, Richard Trumpka, nice guy. But 
uh, Nancy Pelosi should put it up for a vote, because at some point, pretty soon, you're going to have Canada and you're going to have Mexico say, what's going on? Send the agreement back. Let's not make the deal. And I wouldn't blame them at all, and that's okay. We'll just blame Nancy. She's got to put U.S. That's United States, Canada, Mexico trade deal. A phenomenal deal for our farmers, for everybody. It's a great deal for our country. It replaces one of the worst trade deals ever made. That's NAFTA. So we have a great deal. She has to put it up for a vote. She doesn't have to talk to anybody. All she has to do is say, we're putting it up for a vote, like, immediately. And a lot of time is being wasted. But you're going to have Mexico and Canada pull it pretty soon. And if they do, it's her fault, not mine. We gave you a great deal. It's her fault. And you've got to get going. Got to get going. She's really traumatized. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Unbelievable. More friendly. More friendly than I thought. Let's go. Thanks, everybody.